Hello, Starstream here. You're listening to Geek Central Station and Home Atomics Network. Stay tuned, or I'll come looking for you. Oh, my Lord. Welcome to Geek Central Station, where the awesome just keeps on chugging. My name is John, and today we got another mystery V build with the micro changers. I only got two left. Don't have to shuffle much, just have to decide right or left. Uh, let's save you the eeny miny mo and just go with this one. Alrighty, let's go ahead and crack it open and see what's inside. Crack the shell and see what's in side. I can't remember exactly what Rumbor from you said. Come on, come on. Ooh! Drop the instructions this time. It's Perceptor! <laughs> this one's gonna be cool. Alright, let's get this guy open. Open, open, open. Packages just get easier to open every time. Let's hope I don't spill anything out where I don't want it to, that is. Well, he's got a lot of, a lot of parts. Ooh, there we go. Okay, let's get the trash out of here. Open up the instructions. Alrighty, got another Creo block. The legs are all tampographed out. Chest looks very cool. Very neato. I like, I like. Get those arm or those hands rather twisted around. Oh, okay. Go ahead. Ah. Like my example for not knowing what to call Lego, please. I call this a silo because it looks like a silo to me. I have no idea what else you'd call it. Inform me if I am wrong. Creo is my, my biggest endeavor into Lego. That's a lie. Uh, I have a lot of Lego sets. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, this Creo is my first endeavor into filming Lego things. So I got the guy. Give him his legs so he can walk. Okay black matches, so it looks like it's all seamless. Very nice. I'm going to give you a good look at that as soon as I remember how to operate my camera. Very cool so far. Let's go ahead and put this one on there. Ah, it's a one piece! See that? It's a one piece with the neck hole. Boy, are they getting better at this. Oh, gone are the days where I need to slice off the fronts of the vests. Boy. One thing I don't like is that it makes the neck extra long and it adds this extra piece to it. I, I know I'm asking for a lot, but if they can maybe figure out a way to remove that, that'd be great. Hmm, and I'm not mistaken, I think that's a, a brand new helmet. Because I don't, I don't remember seeing that helmet. That would be rad. Very, very rad. Now we got the, the microscope attachment to make. And the gun helps stabilize them, that's cool. Okay, start off with one of these square pieces. And then, oh, diagonally. Have it, let's see, that right there. They want you to do it diagonally. Makes sense, but I mean, you could always rotate it, so it's up to your preference. And then go ahead and click this in right here so the peg part's facing this way the, all this orientation oh. another one of these put on the back of that I guess you can make it flush with the back the black round stud see I only know what these are called because of the Lego games these are studs I'm a stud. Right. Anyway. Put that silo piece right there. And then put the... 
other piece right there. Oh, that looks cool. Put it on his back. Oh, that's neato. Let's rotate it out a bit. Very neat. Awesome. What do you do with this extra vent? They don't tell you to do anything with the vent. I'm putting the vent on here. For the win status. And then... Ah, oh, this is going to be funny. And then for the... Vehicle, the alternate mode, you just take off his head. Take the gun out of his hand. Sit him down. Okay. okay. Why is not wanting to do it? Ah, oh, instruction wants you to do more than just that. Gah. Take off all the uh, the one by one small things off of the microscope part. We gotta somehow get this stud off of here. Just put the stud on the back of the red part here. Leave the rest of the silo as it is. Now they want you to put the vent piece on the back here. Uh, but you can rotate it like that. And then I guess give him give him boots right there and now he's a microscope or you could just set him set him on here now he's definitely a microscope kinda neat oi pretty pretty neat I guess you can ah darn Hmm. Not much else you can do with his head. Except maybe he's an order of the headless monks. He's pretty neat. He's got the tampcrafts and whatnot. It's pretty easy transformation. Although the size of some of the pieces with them getting hard, they're hard to take apart and whatnot can kind of make it a drag to move it from one point to the other because it looks like taking that extra stuff off really helps with the weight balance of all that stuff. Since it has nothing to keep it down, it likes to slide up from what I can see. Although, still pretty good. Can't do anything with the gun when you're sitting down. <sighs> but, at least I have a badass record deluxe version of this guy. It's a pretty good representation when you're comparing the both of them. Although, it's really kind of hard to compare Creo with Deluxe Generation's awesome stuff. Although, technically, that's Reveal the Shield, but we'll not get into that. This has been the Perceptor, Part 3 of the Mystery V build. Next week, you'll see my last one. And I think I have an idea what it is, but I'm not going to say. You're just going to have to stay tuned and figure out what it is. You'll like it. Trust me, you'll like it. Um, so don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Thank you for watching and have a fantastic day.